Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a review on the Moyue Su. Now this is the newest 4x4 on the market and you can get it on the cubicle for $21. I got mine from Wallbuys um, for $13. They have a sale now for white ones that are $9. So I would go ahead and probably go there. This uh, is a Christmas special so you should probably go get it. So this cube right off the back I'm going to say right now through this whole review. It's an amazing cube. Um, this has really gotten me into 4x4. So, on review, I'm going to do a quick size comparison with a uh, Shenshu. Now, the stickers make it look really small, but the cube is pretty much the same size as a Shengshu. Now, what makes this cube a little different is the sticker shades, as you can see. This is just typical Shengshu shades, as you can see. Um, it's pretty much like the standard Moyu shades on the cubes. So I'm going to go on quickly on turning. So so yeah, the turning is really, really, really fluent. It's um, turning is smooth and fast. Now, what I really like about this cube the most is the uh, consistency of the layers. Um, unlike the typical, let's say, Dynamic Fate and Shang Shao, they have different feeling inner layers and outer layers. Unlike in the Moi Yue Su, they have pretty consistent um, layers, except the inner layers are a tad bit more crispy. But they're very consistent. Unlike in the um, the Sheng Shao, this is really smooth, but the outer layers are really, really crispy and locky. And Dynama Fate, the inner layers are super sluggish, but the outer layers are extremely bumpy and crispy and uh, a tad bit smooth. So, so that's what makes this I, what I really like about the most. So if I had to compare the feel of this cube to anything, it wouldn't be really a 4x4, it would be a 3x3. Three three. Uh, I think it feels just like the Sumon. The outer layers feel just like it, and the inner layers is a little bit more crispy, but um, the outer layers definitely feel like the Sumon. So, have a... Um, with all the amazing things I've said about this, is there any, you know, major problems with it? Uh, no, not really. I haven't had any major problems. Uh, I'm just going to talk about a little bit of the improvements, so, from the uh, Sheng Shao. So I'm going to basically comparing a little bit to the Sheng Shao for a few uh, minutes or so. Um, so a few things I did like about the Sheng Shao. So I'm locking up here. I've constant modded mine, so it's been reduced greatly, but it still locks up occasionally. Um... So it locks up on these inner slices, but on the Moi Yue Su, you don't have to mod at all, and it would still be perfect, and it doesn't lock up. The Sheng Shao, the outer layers are extremely locky, and just, they're just horrible. Um, the Dyan MFA pretty much solved that, making the outer layers super nice, in my opinion. But as you can see there, it does pop. So, uh, the Moi Yue Su is the perfect cube between these two. It's kind of like a mix between the two. Or a mix between the two, sorry. Making it, um, the outer layer is really nice. And make sure that it doesn't pop. Although, I do have some pops on there. So, although this cube may seem perfect, there are some problems with it. Uh, first of all, I do have these, um, when I first got it, I played around with it a lot, and I had this really annoying thing. I'm just going to talk about it real quickly. Um, there's one layer that would always turn extremely rough and turn everything else was fine. It felt just like this. It was like really fast and smooth. And there's always this one layer that turns so bad and I couldn't make it any better. So I decided to just break it in, deal with it, and lube it. And that's what I did. And it's completely gone away now. And I'm kind of happy that it's completely gone away. So, I may do a, a looping tutorial, but I am not too sure about that. 
Uh, second problem is that the popping. Um, although this cube does not pop nearly as much as the MF8 4x4, um, it does have its pops. Now, it's usually um, these internal pieces right here. The worst pop I ever got was the internal piece plus these two pieces, the center piece and the edge piece. One of the wing edges came out. I've never had an explosion or anything like that, so not too severe, but everything else was fine. But yeah, um, so those were the only major problems I got. Um, yeah, there wasn't no really problems, really. So I'm just going to um, go and take apart the cube to show you what it looks like. Um, so... I guess I'll take it apart just like this. I'll take apart just this corner section. I'm not going to take apart the whole cube, just the corner section. Maybe I can... Ooh, yeah, I got to. Yay. So, um, so here is an edge piece. It looks just like, kind of like an X-Cube Shang Xiao mix. This reminds me of uh, X-Cube. It's sharp. More than a uh, Shang Xiao. And um, the centerpiece. This reminds me of Shang Xiao because of the holes. As you can see, it has been greatly broken in. And has this little dip right here for the, um, the alignment mech right here. And now the corner piece. This corner piece looks like a regular corner piece. It feels kind of spongy, but should be fine. And here is the core or mech in their mechanism right here. So that is the thing that keeps it in alignment right here, this little bump. And these are the inner pieces. So you can see the inner pieces are pre consta modded, so you don't have to mod them. And if you guys can barely see, I don't want to take it too much apart, but right here, there's actually a torpedo in here to keep it from internally popping, which is pretty sweet. So, yeah, that's pretty much the mech, guys. No big deal. Um, it's pretty much an improved X-Cube. It's actually what should the X-Cube should have been, but these minor problems were holding it back, and the X-Cube was really crispy. Although I do like the X-Cube, a lot of other people don't like it because of other things. Um, um, there, This is just like the X-Cube, but it doesn't explode. The X-Cube does explode. I had had an explosion when I had played with an X-Cube. So yeah, so that's pretty much all the problems. I haven't had many problems with lockups. Um, maybe when I turn too fast or anything like that, when I'm just doing a PLR or something. Like when I do a wiper, my lock up a lot on 4x4. Well, that wasn't that bad. I just kind of rush through the algo a lot. So yeah guys, that is pretty much my review for the, um, Moyu Waste. So, I'm just going to do a quick scrabble right now. And, um, yeah, solve it. And note that I am not the fastest uh, 4x4 solver out there. And um, I do suck under the camera. I'm just going to say that. So, um, before I start 4x4 solving, I'm going to talk about how I solve. Um, <clears throat> For, it's weird. I can I can do white center, but I can't do yellow center. I can do orange center, but I can't do red center. And I can do green center, but I can't do blue center. So I can do three centers, but I can't do the other three. It's kind of weird. I can't do the opposites. So I'm going to do green. You can see a spark. So I'm just going to... Oh, this is horrible right now. Um, I do my edges like this because I feel it's easier for me to track them down. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh man, parody. So yeah, that was a, probably a really slow solve. Uh, I did mess up on edge painting a little bit. So yeah, this cube is amazing. I'll leave uh, links in the description on where you can buy it. So yeah guys, that's my review for the Moyu Way suit. I hope you enjoy. Um, I try to get as many facts as I can in here about the cube that I can think of at the moment. Uh, so yeah, this cube is amazing. Uh, I'll leave links in the description where you can buy it. And yeah guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Please subscribe for some more videos I'm going to come out with soon. And yeah, see you.